Chad Range alongside Jesse Finney. This is the Hit Squad. This segment brought to you by Metrogistics Vehicle Transportation Solutions Delivered. Check us out on the web. Metro, M-E-T-R-O, Gistics, G-I-S-T-I-C-S dot com. Plenty of good cut carriers out there, but hey, Metrogistics is the best. And we want you to follow the Hit Squad on Facebook.com, Hit Squad 101 ESPN at the Twitter handle, at Hit Squad 101 ESPN. Now the Shamrock Fighting Championships, October 12th, it is upon us, relentless at Lumiere Casino. There's, there can't be tickets available. No, there's well, there was two tickets online. Two tickets. They were separate. There's one ticket here and one ticket there. That was as of yesterday. I'm not even sure if that's even available at this point. But, so, yeah, yeah, you've probably missed it. Uh, and if you did miss it, you're going to miss a uh, UFC veteran. Nine-time UFC veteran. The guy It's always exciting to come out, always exciting to watch, always exciting to... You know, just be around. The guy's been fought who's who of MMA, and we're excited to have him on the Shamrock Fighting Championships main event. Luigi Ferravante. He joins us now. Luigi, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thanks for having me on the show, guys. Hey, we're glad to have you. One thing I got to ask, and the knuckle junkies were asking, uh, you know, you're on the short list. You're getting there to the UFC. I mean, there it's coming on. Talk about how exciting it is, and obviously you got to take care of business in this fight. Uh, this Saturday uh, for Shamrock Fighting Championships, relentless there, at Lumiere. Talk about what you're doing and how camp's been going. Man, you know camp's been going great. It's been training hard. You know, training with the guys at uh, um, uh, Finney's MMA over on uh, Crestwood. Um, and you know, I've just been uh, putting in the work. You know, just training hard and getting ready for this fight coming up. Uh, you know, uh, just trying to uh, trying to string a, string along some wins so I can get back into a big promotion, whether it be you know UFC or uh, one of the other uh, top promotions in the U.S. Um, so you know, I'm just just trying to try to put my nose to the gr- uh, you know, just trying to grind it out, man. Just trying to get some wins. So, Luigi, let me ask you something. If you you win this fight Saturday night, what, what's your next step, and where do you see yourself going? How many fights do you think it would take to get back into the UFC where you belong? Uh, you know, I think it, it's going to take a few fights, you know, uh, you know, so uh, just getting back on that horse, you know, that's that's uh, just getting back in there and, and getting that, uh, you know, some more ring experience. And that way when, you know, I get the call or I can make that call, uh, you know, they'll 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 uh, they'll take me and I uh, <laughs> go go from there. You know, Luigi Ferravante, he will be fighting. In the main event this weekend for the Shamrock Fighting Championships, relentless. Now, Luigi, talk about being on the short list. I mean, at any time, you could legitimately get a call and they can say, hey, we need you here in two weeks. I mean, you constantly have to be in top shape and on top of your game, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, to take a fight short notice in the UFC, you definitely have to be in. you, you got to be prepared always, you know what I mean? you got to be in good shape and... Uh, you know, you got to keep your weight, you know, on point, you know, so that way when you do get that call, short notice, because, you know, most of the time when, you know, guys get in the UFC, guys like me, you know, that have been in before, they, it's it's going to be a short notice fight, you know, so you got to be prepared for it. And uh, I tell you what, got you know, being at Finney's, you definitely, you know, you're definitely in shape, you know, training with the, you know, the jiu-jitsu guys there, the wrestlers there, the strikers there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll be ready if I do get that call. <laughs> Well, Luigi, let me ask you something. Of all the fights you've had, I got to ask you this: What would you say? If you you look back on your career, what was the most rewarding fight, and what was the toughest fight you've ever had? Well, I mean, uh, I would say the most rewarding was when I fought, uh, you know, uh, Dave Manet in the UFC. He was a former, uh, he was the former middleweight champion. So, you know, getting a win like that was pretty big. Um, for me, in my, in my in my career at that point, uh, man, I've had so many tough fights. I can't really think of <laughs> which one was the toughest. Because you know, I tell you what, man, when you're fighting at the top, they're all tough, you know. Absolutely. Well, talking about uh, the October 12th fight, what do you expect from your opponent? And what's your game plan going on in there? Oh uh, man, my game plan is just you know to pick them apart and get the knockout. Um, and wait for him to make a mistake, you know, and I'll capitalize it. Either I'm going to TKO him, KO him, or, or submit him. You know, and I, I plan to do it, you know, in the first round. If not the first round, the second round, you know. You never know until you step in there. But I uh, definitely plan on finishing the fight uh, as soon as I can and, uh, you know, put on an entertaining fight for the fans and, you know, show St. Louis that, you know, uh, 
anybody that steps in there with me is, is going to get hurt. Well, Luigi, this is your first fight coming in, and you've lived here in St. Louis for, what, a year, year and a half now, and this is your first fight here in, in, in St. Louis. So what can the guys expect from you exactly to say, you know what, I'm Luigi Ferravanti, I'm here to stay in St. Louis. What can you say that I'm going to give to the fans? Just an, an exciting fight, you know. Uh, I like to stand. I like to throw my hands. I like to, you know, uh, you know, I like to be, you know, put on a technical fight, not just a brawl. Uh, you know, if it goes to the ground, you know, expect the fight to be, fin you know, finished. You know, it's not going to be one of these, uh, you know, lay and pray fights. It's going to be an exciting fight always. Absolutely. Well, we thank you for joining us today, Luigi. Oh, hey, thanks for having me on the show, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Absolutely. Luigi. Good deal. That was Luigi Ferravanti. He will be fighting in the main event on October 12th. That is this Saturday, Relentless at Lumiere Casino. Uh, also going on, Invincible. That's happening December 7th, River City Casino. Another UFC veteran. That would be Adam Sella getting a shot to fight on the main card. And this is a guy much like Luigi Ferravanti, who probably within the 2014 calendar year will, might end up, if he doesn't hit a speed bump, probably back in the UFC. Right, I'm sure it will be. I mean, it's, the thing is, is like right now the Shamrock Fighting Championships has pretty much been almost like the AAA where guys are like Luigi Ferravanti or Adam Sella or Justin Lawrence or, you know, a lot of the guys have actually came through the system and have actually jumped into the next system. Uh, I think with Sella headlining the December 7th fight, he's the exact same type of fighter as Luigi, just not as polished. He's a lot younger with less experience, but he likes to strike and bang and be exciting. You know, he's not a layer in prayer, and that's when the, in the, in the share my fights they really don't want. So, I mean, nor is the UFC. Oh, say, you know, guys are going to go out and bang it out and be exciting for the fans. So, it'll be exciting. 2014 is going to bring a lot for, for the St. Louis fans and, I, and the Midwest fans because I'm looking forward to some big knockouts, and I think these guys are as well. And happening in Kansas City, November 1st, Shamrock Fighting Championships Conquest at Harris Casino. Now the women are on that card, correct? Yes, I think there are uh, three women fights in that card with Shamrock Fighting Championships, Pro-Am card as well. There's a lot of good stuff happening, and, you know, Harris Casino up in Kansas City is always a great venue to watch fights as well. You know, there's October, November, December, all Shamrock Fighting Championships in the St. Louis and Kansas City area. Absolutely, and the women getting involved. Are you seeing more women? Yeah, you are. You are see, see a lot more women getting involved, and I think you can actually look at that and say, you know what? The reason why is because the UFC, man, the UFC is putting everything mainstream. We wouldn't be doing this show if it wasn't for the UFC. Now all of a sudden, the UFC starting to promote women. Now we're starting to see more women. You know what? It all starts from the top, and it starts with the UFC. Absolutely. And some good news in the end here, right before we sign off. The Rams didn't lose to the Jaguars. Oh, boy, we even said last week, like, listen, if they lose to the Jaguars, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Just like Cy Roberts says, I'm out. I'm out. And that doesn't See you, Jack. That's right, Jack. He's <laughs> Jesse Finney. I'm Chad Rage. The guy behind the camera, he's Kevin Fowler. We appreciate you watching 101sports.com. <laughs>